一つ二つ三つ一台二台三台Welcome to YS Online, ako po si Dice, and today we are going to learn how to count different things in Japanese. Yes, you heard it right. Pagbibilang ng mga bagay. In Japanese, marami tayong gamit ng pangbilang ng mga bagay. So in Japanese, we have over 350 counters. Ang dami, di ba? Now, kung kinover natin ang lahat ng mga counters niyan, mawawala tayong oras sa video natin. So let's just cover yung mga pinakamadalas kinagamit. Naala na niyo ba yung lesson natin about numbers? So counting is ichi, ni, sang, shi, go, roku, nana, hachi, kyu, ju. Um, if you'd like a refresher on the numbers in Japanese, check out our video on this specific topic. Links in the description box below. Ngayon, mag-aaral ulit tayo kung paano magbilang. This time naman, magbibilang tayo ng mga iba't ibang bagay. Interesting, right? So, counting things in Japanese is different from counting things in English and Tagalog. So, hindi siya yung typical na magbibilang na parang five apples, three days, or five people. It might be because of the ambiguous nature of nouns in Japanese. Like, for example, the word apple or lingo in Japanese could actually mean different things in English. Just the word lingo could easily mean the apple, an apple, the apples, the app, or just apples in general. So, gumagamit tayo ng mga counters para sabihin ilan talaga at para gawin klaro ang sinasabi natin or pinag-uusapan. Also, wala tayong plural forms sa Japanese. Kaya napakarami tayong mga counter words. So, let's start with the most basic, basic, basic counter words. One of something is hitotsu. Two of something is futatsu. Three naman is mitsu. Four, yotsu. Five, itsutsu. Six, mutsu. Seven, nanatsu. Eight, yatsu. Nine, kokonotsu. Parang kokonats, no? And lastly, to. Si to or ten ay nag-iisang walang tsu. Okay? After we say hitotsu, futatsu, mitsu, and so on, dinudugtugan natin siya ng no. So, basically, it's going to be hitotsu no lingo, futatsu no lingo, and so on and so forth. So, kayo naman, let's try to count these objects. Ready? Nagikita natin ba sa screen? Write down your answers in the comments section below. Okay, so our next topic is counter suffixes. In Japanese, we use different types of counter suffixes for different types of things, depending on the size and shape of object. Ano ano ba ang mga binibilang natin ngayon? At anong counter suffix ang gagamitin natin para sa kanila? So, aralin natin ngayon. Magbilang tayo ng people, machines and vehicles, thin and flat objects, frequencies, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, and years. Magsisimula tayo sa persons. Ang counter suffix for person is ni. So, we are going to say the number of people, tapos dadagdagan natin ng ni. Counting exception lang for one and two people dahil ang one person is counted as hitori, two people is counted as futari. So, We have hitori, futari, sannin, yonin, gonin, rokunin, nananin, hachinin, and so on. Next naman is machines and vehicles. So, let's say magbibilang tayo ng kotse, makina, appliances, ganun. Ang counter suffix natin is dai. So, that's ikidai, nidai, Sunday, and so on. Okay, so now we have thin and flat objects. Parang katulad ng let's say paper, 
top shirts, dishes, etc. Nakita natin, di ba? Flat siya. So, it's mai. As in, ichi mai, ni mai, san mai, yon mai, go mai, and so on. Next naman, si frequency. So, kung magbibilang tayo ng beses, kai ang gamit natin dito. So, that's ikai, ni kai, san kai, yong kai, and so on. For minutes naman, ang gagamitin natin is fun or pung. So, for example, one minute is ipung. Two minutes is ni fun, three minutes is sam pung. Let's go through one to ten for this one. Para kabisado natin, okay? Ready? I pung, ni fun, sam pung, yong fun, go fun, rok pung, nana fun, hap pung, kyu fun, at ju pung. Okay, so we just did minutes. Next naman is hours. So for hours, we use jikang. As in, ichi jikang, ni jikang, san jikang, yo jikang, and so on. No exceptions. Thank God. Hallelujah. For days, we have nichi. Pero madami tayong exceptions dito. So be careful. Okay? So from 1 to 10, we have... Okay, so for weeks the month we have the word shu kang, as in i shu kang, ni shu kang, san shu kang. Okay. For months, dadagdagan natin ng number plus kagetsu. So i kagetsu, ni kagetsu, san kagetsu, yon kagetsu, go kagetsu, and so on. So, yun ang ating mga counters natin. Ang dami, di ba? Okay, so kayo naman mag-try ngayon. Ipapakita natin sa screen ang mga ilang bagay at sagutin natin ang tamang number with the right counter suffix. Check it out! So, I'll start you off with the first one. Nakikita natin ngayon sa screen, meron tayong tatlong kotse. Ano yung tamang counter suffix ng sasakyan? Dai. So, we have sandai. Alright, now it's your turn. Nakikita mo sa screen. How many and what is the right counter suffix? Make sure to write your answers in the comment section below. And that's it for today's lesson. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe so that we can notify you pag may bagong videos na lumalabas sa amin. For YSNLC, my name is Dice. Ja, matane.